Well, if you've had a chance to meet Carol Hutchins, you know that she is a special lady. Then you take a chance to look at her resume and you go, okay, she's been the head coach of Michigan softball for three decades. She's been the Big Ten coach of the year, one, two, three, 14 different times. But it's something you haven't seen her do, which will make you respect her more than ever. It's what she and her program do to help fight cancer. Rick Pizzo has the story. Welcome to Alumni Field. Tonight is the biggest game of the year. We are out to win. We are out to win in the fight against breast cancer. Since 2010, Michigan head coach Carol Hutchins has hosted the Michigan Softball Academy, a one-night fantasy camp created to raise funds for making strides against breast cancer. Softball Academy was something that really came about at a summer softball camp. A number of the mothers looked around and said, man, I wish I could have gone to a camp. I said, yeah, wouldn't it be great to have an adult camp? With that, the idea was born, and we had been partnering with Making Strides Against Breast Cancer already. Good ready position is nice and low. Nice and low, good wide faces apart, good athletic position. You hear so many different things from the participants, and the first thing I hear is, I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't throw or I can't slide, and, and we let them know. We're, you're not trying out for my team. This isn't about softball. This is about beating cancer. One person who has taken those words to heart is camp participant Diana Kern, a breast cancer survivor, now cancer free for 10 years. Nice, one more, one more. I'll be good. Ew, yeah. Her coach, one of the things that she cares about is making sure that the young ladies that go through her program are prepared for life, not just softball. She was going to introduce these young ladies to surviving breast cancer and to what it means to actually go through a cancer experience because at least three of those kids in their lifetime are going to hear the word cancer. Yeah. That shot, she got all of that one and it's gone! Don't give a pitch to Sierra Romero if you can. For Michigan shortstop and two-time Big Ten Player of the Year, Sierra Romero, the connection to this event is personal. I actually have an aunt who had breast cancer. I have survivors come up to me and say how this has impacted them or how they're so grateful that we're here doing this for them. They're here all year supporting us and for us to be able to support them in return, it's a great feeling. That was exciting to hit. The most important thing that I see every year is the empowerment it gives our kids and they, take a step back for a night and realize that life isn't about them and that life isn't fair. And they meet a lot of people like survivors. They meet people that don't have any hair. They meet people who are loved ones of survivors. And they realize that they're helping make a difference. And it's probably the greatest joy I have all season. One big really special moment is when we get out on this field and we take that one big picture all the coaches, all the girls, all the participants. And that's when, for me, it gets a little difficult because there are women that played with us in the last five years who aren't here anymore. We lost them. So when I'm out there at that time, that's my favorite part. Even though I'm teary now, it's, it's tears of joy and remembrance of them. And I think that that's when I am the most happiest is that big picture.